Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Veil. Vale. I'm Jessica and on today's video we're going to be unboxing my August 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. You probably saw that in the title. Uh, I will ask you to bear with me. I just got back from a week of vacation. I think you may see a video before this. I'm not sure what my video schedule is going to be this week, but this might be the first video you're seeing. It might be the second or third video you're seeing. I'm not 100% sure, but I just got back from a week of vacation, so I did not post any videos last week because I was sitting on the beach every single day enjoying the sun so my skin's a little bit darker than it normally is not by much because i slather the sunscreen on i guarantee it uh i'm very very fair um and you can see though that i definitely have more freckles than i normally do because i did get some sun anyway we're gonna go ahead and open my ipsy glam bag plus we're gonna be doing it try on style before i turn on the camera i did put on some primer this is my origins original skin pore perfecting cooling primer with willow herb and then i also put on my eye primer which i'm using this urban decay eyeshadow primer potion because I have already peeked in here to see what is in the box and I have a couple more uh, makeup products on the table that I will be supplementing the products in this box with. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is what it looks like when you first open it. It says don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you. And I'm going to open up the styrofoam and this is what it looks like which is a little odd this month. The, the box is so large and it, the products don't take up as much room but I will say this too. For this month, they did allow you to choose one of your products. I don't think I've ever had that option before in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I was able to choose one of my products, which was really awesome because I chose something that I haven't tried before and I thought would be really cool to give a try. So they do have a card in here. This is actually like the regular Ipsy Bag card. They did not, they used to have the fan fold one in the Glam Bag Plus. I actually prefer this one better because I don't have to like look for the products on both sides and flip it around and stuff. This just has all the products on it, which is really cool. Um, and it looks like the theme for this month is bear yourself. It says right there on the front of the card. I think you're getting some glare from my lighting, but it is bear yourself. So it says celebrate all of you, play up a signature look, create the unexpected, let natural beauty shine. Your Glam Bag Plus picks will help highlight the beautiful things that make you unique. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the first product out, which is actually a face product, which I'm actually kind of excited to get in here. Um, I do already have this product, so I have it on my table as well, but this is the Bye It Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisture moisturizer SPF 50 plus UVA UVB broad spectrum physical sunscreen and this is in the shade fair so I'm gonna actually pull it out of here because I, I have it in fair light and there's definitely a difference in the shades fair this one's fair the one I just got in my box and then this one's fair light I did do a full day wear test of this uh, several, several months ago. I honestly can't tell you that I remember what my first impression was of this, um, but I'm excited to see the, the uh, to try out the fair. The fair light, if I remember correctly, was too deep for my skin tone. I think the fair might be better. So yeah, fair light's definitely too deep for me, even with some, some uh, sun on my skin. I can't remember why I bought fair light. I think it cosmetics their products are never fair enough for me. So I don't even know why I bought fair light. I don't know Anyway, I will try to link down in the description bar below my full day for first impression of the uh, fair light But this is the shade fair which I am going to use today um, I was thinking about maybe using the fair light, but now that I'm looking at it It's just it's just too dark for me So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade fair that I got in my box. I'm gonna go ahead and read from the card it says the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer in Fair. Developed with dermatologists, this foundation helps you put your best face forward. With a proprietary 3D Skin Flex technology, this lightweight formula covers imperfections while giving you an even, natural looking finish. Plus, it's infused with a protective SPF 50. Tip. Apply one to two pumps to clean skin, blending outward from the center of your face. Since it's super moisturizing, it can be used on top or in place of your skincare products. So I'm curious if it says to use a brush or your hands. It just says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. All right, I am going to go ahead and use a brush because, well, what does the box say? I'm gonna shake it up. And it looks like, it looks like the box says this exact same thing. 
apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. It doesn't say to use a brush. Oh, okay. Apply one to two pumps to clean skin using your favorite It Cosmetics brush or fingertips, either on top or in place of your skincare products. For best results, apply starting at the center of your face, then smooth and blend outward for complexion perfection. So I actually do have some It Cosmetics foundation brushes. I'm going to go ahead and pull, I have my brushes sitting right here in front of me today. I'll go ahead and pull this one out. This is the uh, Love Beautifully Love is the Foundation brush from I think two years ago. I do like these brushes. I, I've gotten the, them the last two years. Um, so I have two right now. They only come out in October for I believe Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. It says one to two pumps. So we'll see how it goes. There it goes. All right, I'm gonna do two pumps. It is actually a fairly shallow pump. So I'm gonna do two. It has a little bit of a citrusy smell, which I have found in other It Cosmetics products, to be honest. So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna use this brush here and they say it's full coverage. Like I said, I can't remember my full day wear test on this and what my thoughts were. So we're just gonna go as if it's a first impression because I try a lot of foundations. If you're new to my channel, I do post a foundation Friday every Friday, except for last week when I took a vacation. So, all right, with two pumps, I do not feel like I got full coverage. Um, but I am liking the shade more than I think I probably like the fair light, given that the fair light is significantly darker than the fair, but I'm not really feeling like I got full coverage. Um, Pretty good medium coverage for sure, but I don't feel like it was full coverage. But I'm actually liking the way it looks. I'm not a big fan of super full coverage foundations to be honest with you. Um, the only place that I would like a little bit more coverage is my nose because I do, I have issues with foundations sticking to my nose and I'm hoping that I can just build that up a little bit. I have a lot of natural redness on my nose, so. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. All right, so. Right now, at least, I'm liking the way that's looking. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my face makeup on because I don't have any other face makeup in the box and I will be right back. All right, while I was off screen, I did my brows using the It Brow Power Brow Pencil. I put a little bit of concealer just on my under eyes. This is the Catrice Liquid Camo. And then on my face, I have Take Home the Bronze from The Balm as my bronzer just very, very lightly. Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. And then the Essence Pure, News Hi Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. And that's what I put on while I was off screen. So let's go ahead back into the box. There are two items that I'm not gonna be using in this box today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out right here, which is actually kind of exciting for me. It is a full size, I'm pretty sure it's a full size. It's 6.75 fluid ounces. Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. And I'm curious on if this is a liquid or a physical exfoliator. Holy moly, it is a really big bottle. Um, and it's sealed. So I'm not actually going to open this um, because I, I'm i excited to get it. I have used Murad cleansers before and I do enjoy them. But I don't know when I'm going to get to this. I'm already in the process of using two cleansers at this time. So I don't want to open another one. But I am excited. So this says... The Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This hardworking cleanser will give your skin life. Glycolic and lactic acids, both AHAs, clear dead skin, scale, skin cells, while salicylic acid, BHA, penetrates deep into pores to clear out excess dirt and oil. Jojoba beads gently polish and refine skin, leaving it brighter, clearer, and radiant. So it sounds like it has a physical and a chemical exfoliator in it. It says, squeeze a quarter-sized dollop into the palm and dot over damp face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Then gently massage in circles, rinse, and follow with moisturizer used two to three times a week. So yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to get that, to be honest with you. Something nice, something a little bit different. 
Back into the box, the other thing that I'm not gonna be using today, if you've seen any of my unboxings before, you know that when I do get brushes, I like to wash them before I put them anywhere near my eyes. I'm excited to get this though. This is from Farah. It's Be Beautiful, I'm sorry, Be Beautiful, Be You. And look at the brush handles on this. Can you see that? They look like they, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. They look like they're gemstones, the way they're shaped and stuff. Go ahead and pull pull them out of the bag here all right so they're really soft I mean that's what they look like Woo! I'm gonna drop it I think they're really pretty Woo! Um, they're they're definitely very very pretty um, yeah and then they do actually have the name on them, which is nice. Like this one says it's a pencil. This one is the angled brow. This one is the concealer brush. I thought I've never used a concealer brush like that. Uh, mini tapered. And this last one is a mini shading. So I do like them. Let's go ahead and read from the card what it says about these brushes. So these are the Farrah brushes. Show me magic eye brush set. Quality brushes change the game. Created by a team of beauty lovers, Farrah eye brushes feature luxe synthetic fibers to take your shading, blending, and cut creases to the next level. This five-piece set is 100% vegan and cruelty-free, so you can get that feel-good glow up. Tip, use 10F to prime and 65EM, which are the numbers that are on the, the thing, uh, to apply base color. Follow with 35EM to blend creases and 105E to line and smudge. Finish with 15E to define and set brows with powder or pomade. So like this is the 105E pencil brush. You know what I mean? So they all have a number, but they also have a name. So, all right, back into the box. There are two more items in here. I'm going to pull out... Let's pull out this one first. This is from Finding Ferdinand, and it is, oh, it's taped shut. It is a lipstick in Eau Naturelle, and it's taped shut. Let me open it up real quick. All right, so this actually clicks. Apparently, I didn't get the plastic, the tape to cut the entire way. Hold on. There we go. So it pops in pops out, which is really nice if like you're putting it in your purse. However, look at this diff size difference. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I did use an exfoliating lip balm before starting the camera, but let's go ahead and put this on. So it feels super creamy. I'll say that right out of the gate. I'm gonna go ahead and click this back into place. Let's go ahead and return the card. Finding Ferdinand Lipstick in Eau Naturale. This classic nude lip shade earns a top spot in your purse for a pop of sophisticated color that instantly pulls a look together and no more messy spills. The pop in and out feature will keep your bag pristine even if it falls to the bottom. Tip, find your perfect nude by pairing this lipstick with your fave lip liner, lighter or darker, to create a color that's just right. Fill in lips with liner, then apply this as a topper. I think this is okay. It's a little bit more pink than I would normally go with my lipsticks, but I think it's pretty. I would probably put a darker lip liner on underneath to bring it a little bit darker because it is so pinky. Yeah, I like it. All right, now on to the last item. So the last item in here is this right here. This is from the balm. It's in the balm of your hand, Greatest Hits Volume 2. I'm gonna go ahead and read the card and then I'll show you the uh, eyeshadow and then we will go ahead and put it on, okay? All right, so this is the Balm Cosmetics in the balm of your hand, Greatest Hits Volume 2. Endless looks in one sleek palette. From eyeshadows and blushes to bronzer and highlighter, this baby has it all and then some. Well, crap. I've already put my face makeup on. Oh well. 
We love how portable it is, so we'll be packing it for all the summer weddings, long weekends away, and more. Tip, use the pinky brown shade Matte Russo for the perfect transitional hue. Swipe Bahama Mama onto cheeks for a healthy flush. Finish with Mary Luminizer to highlight. So, all right, let's go ahead and pull this out. This is what this looks like. And it has a nice mirror on it. But here are all of the shades that are in the palette. So... They have Bahama Mama, which is right here, which is a bronzer. I'm actually using a bronzer from the, uh, the Balm today. Down Boy, which is a shadow or a blush. Frat Boy, which is a shadow or a blush. And In Stain, In Stain? Yeah. Long Wearing Staining Powder Blush. I don't know what that means. Mary Luminizer, which I think I have a mini of. Meet Matte Adore, which is a shadow. Rockstar Palette, which, oh, the shade is... Um, I'm sorry. I'm reading this wrong. Uh, the shade over here is Matte Russo from Meet Matte Adore. The palette over here is from the Rockstar palette, and it's Alice Cooper. This looks like it's the shade Firm from Nude Dudes, and it's a shadow and liner. And then this is here is Matte Reed from Meet Matte Trimony. So those are all the shades that are in here. I think I do have Mary Luminizer in just a mini about this shade as well. But we're going to go ahead and do an eye look with this today. I didn't realize that this had blushes, bronzer, and highlighter already in it. And that's okay. I'm going to use this all on my lids today. So, but it, the mirror is really nice. It's, it's the size of the entire packaging. So it actually shows you all of your eyes. So that's actually pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead in with a brush here. And I think what I'm going to do is use Bahama Mama as my base shade to... Um, put all over my lid to start my look out as kind of like my crease shade slash base shade since there is no real like cream matte in here that I can use as like a starter so I'm just going to use that Bahama Mama shade and I think I also have Bahama Mama in a mini as well and when I say mini I mean like mini this size I think I have Bahama Mama in this size or maybe smaller I'm not sure Anyway, let's go ahead and get this on my lids. All right, I think what I'm gonna do next is use Matte Russo, which is this shade right here, uh, to build up in my crease. It's a little bit pinky toned, which I enjoy. And I'm gonna build that, like I said, into my crease. It is a, a brown shade, but it does have a pinky tone to it. So I'm just gonna use that in my crease. All right, I'm gonna go into, I think I'm gonna go into Frat Boy, which is a deeper pink of the three. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it. This one's a little bit deeper and this is definitely a pinkier tone. So I'm gonna go into Frat Boy and I'm going to put that all over my lid as a lid base and see how that looks. All right, I like that as an all over lid shade. Actually a lot. All right, I'm gonna go into, hmm, I think I'm gonna go into Mary Luminizer and use that as an inner corner highlight. Let's see how that looks on the inner corner and I just put a fingerprint on my mirror. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use a little bit of that along my brow bone as well. Okay, then I'm gonna go into Alice Cooper which is like a deep plum with some shimmer in it. I'm going to use a uh, t small tapered blending and I'm going to use this in the outer corner. This is very, very deep. So I'm going to be careful with it because I don't want to get it too deep on my outer corner. Just deepen it up a little bit. All right. I'm just going to take a pencil brush, go into Matte Reed, which is the deep brown shade, the cocoa brown shade. And I'm going to put that along my lower lash line as like a, a liner. All right, I went ahead and put some mascara on. This is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And that is gonna complete my look for the day. Not super intricate, but I'm liking it. I don't know what you guys think of this palette right here, but I'm actually really enjoying it. In fact, the only thing I didn't use was Down Boy and In Stain and then this Firm shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those for you so that you can see what they look like. Everything else is on my face. So, oh, that shade Firm is really pretty. I like that a lot. 
So this one right here is, let's see if the camera will focus on it. There we go. That is firm. This one is in stain. And then this one right here is, uh, is down boy. So I do really like that firm shade. I will definitely be using that in the future. And I agree with what they're saying here in that this is a really nice like travel like palette because it's got your, for at least my skin tone, bronzer, it's got several blush options, it's got a highlighter and it's got enough eyeshadows that I could do a couple of different looks. I could have done different looks, you know, other than what I what I did here. I could have definitely used de diff different shadows in this palette to do different looks, especially with the different options with the, the blushes. Um, that down boy shade is, is actually a closer tone to the lipstick that I have on than the other ones, which I could have easily used um, as well. So I'm actually really liking this. I am really liking that. So I'm really happy. This is actually the item that I selected to get in my box and I'm really happy with it. So let's go ahead and recap. I got the In the Balm of Your Hand Greatest Hits Volume 2 from the Balm, the, the Fair Brushes, the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer, which right now, right now I'm liking it. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video again to see what my third first thoughts were like this shade matches me a lot better than the fair light and I'm actually a little bit darker than I normally am so I probably had a major issue with the shade if I remember correctly but and I think I probably used less of it as well the Murad cleanser I'm really excited to get that large of a box the lipstick this is probably my least favorite item in here it feels comfortable don't get me wrong. It feels really, really comfortable. I don't have any dryness on my lips at all. It's just a little bit more pinky than I normally prefer on my lips. Uh, I think I could easily fix that with a lip liner though. I do. So anyway, there is my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus box for August 2019. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you guys get different things? What did you select if you get this box? Because you were allowed to pick uh, one of your items. I think this was a selection and this was a selection and I think there was like one or two other items that you could select from. Something like that. I'm not 100%. I can't remember 100% but I know for a fact that I picked that eyeshadow palette. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to hit the bell as well and any comments you have, leave those in the comment section down below. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.